Hey guys, welcome back to Zubinology and we are off. The road trip starts. We are going to Belur right now and it is going to be a long trip. Drums. <laughs> Oh. Oh. I hope you heard that sound. My God, I don't need a spoon. <laughs> wow. Developers, we don't just build homes, we craft lifestyles. Q Developers, crafting lifestyles. Hey guys, welcome back to Zoomology episodes. Now we are in Velour and one of the finest restaurants that Irfan has introduced to me. But I don't know, we'll just go and have, let's see what we got in there. So in the Velour city itself, you can find this restaurant, the Velour restaurant. So let's get in. How long is this restaurant? Uh, not more than a month. Sir. This, this place is not more than a month. Ah, the, the, the old one. The old is one was around uh, nine years, ten years. Ten years. So this is a new place. We are yeah. here to the new place. Yes. Good. <laughs> so which side of uh, which side cuisine do you have mainly? We have uh, South Indian, North Indian, Chinese. No, any specific community like no, Chetinad no, or we have, we have, mix of Chetinad. Yeah, we have Chetinad, Kerala cuisine. We have, ah, like, uh, we have North Indian, North Indian, everything. Which is a multi cuisine. Multi cuisine. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go. So guys, we are in the Velur kitchen and uh, this is in the Velur. So no wonder. Velur is 160 kilometers from yeah, Chennai. Yeah, some hundred odd kilometers from Chennai. High, bro. High, hundred kilometers from Chennai and uh, and uh, whenever I cross this place, I must visit this place. You know why? Because the food is good here and uh, it is very rare to see some place like this have good food. Why? Because this is a multi cuisine restaurant. Usually, if 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 one place is multi cuisine, they couldn't uh, focus in one cuisine. So what they do is, uh, I mean, they screw up some some foods. But here, whatever food I have, it's good. So I I used to come here the always. Place. It's one of my favorite place. Like if. The, <laughs> so uh, they keep the consistency, uh, keeping consistency in any restaurant is very hard and their consistency is very good. You can see like it's packed, we have to wait for at least 30 minutes to get We have to the, wait for 30 minutes. Yeah, yes. 30 minutes. Uh, but I, I already called him like, uh, bro, I'm coming and all, but still I have to wait because you know it's full. Uh, and the my place we came. And we travelled to Vellore just for this. Just for this. Just for this restaurant. I'm gonna shoot only in this place because we don't have enough time. There are good places in Melur as well. But I'm just going to finish this. We are going to finish this and then we are going to Melur. Melur. Madurai. So Melur, then Madurai. Then most probably Kerala will be touching. Kerala, yeah. So now we will have food from here. Yes. Bismillah. Ah, ah, na, 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 yo, 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 na, soup de my way. Wow, extremely wow. I can't explain the flavors. It is wow, wow, just wow. Where are we? Now we have this very, very crispy. It's 
very crispy. Prawns. I forgot them. Okay. Oh, not taste like that. Oh, cut. Oh, sir. What's a water breaded? Perfect. Perfect. Oh. Oh. I hope you heard that sound. Hmm. Bah. No, but no. They gave a flavor of a snack here actually. Like we have this cutlet and all, no? Like that, we can have this as a snack. The outside layer is egg. You can taste when you take a bite, get the egg flavor, then we go inside the meat. Mm. If you are if you are someone who who chew the bones up for mutton, it's very good mutton. You can chew it. Wow, I like chewing the bones. The real flavor lies in the bone, man. Mm. So this is mutton chuka. Very rich. Very rich. Guys, one thing I have to say is all the way when I was coming from Dubai and most of the Dubai people also, they don't try the Chettinad, Rauter, uh, the Brahmin, all these cuisines where the multi-culture in Chennai, I don't have to mention. Fish tikka. I can see cream. Oh my god. Mmm. Amazing, bro. Everybody, bro. Bro, super agar. Na, yenna. Fresh, fresh. Mean star. The smoke. The smoke flavor also. Man, which fish is this? Kingfish. Hey, is it? Is it the bass? I na sirda bass hungi ya. Bass hungi. Bass hungi. Abhi na? Bengali. Bengali. Bengali mustard. Mmm. Mustard. 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 And again, they don't, I mean, this place I like so much because of this. It's good. It's, it's good. It's not that they're serving authentic Chennai or Tamil Nadu cuisine. They have fusioned it with all the other parts of India, international, all together. That's the flavor you can get. What richness, man. And the quality of the meat as well as the flavors. Oof. So, Bismillah. Wow, what a thought. Wow, wow, wow. Ama, ama, ama. This masala, at raw flavors are not there. Completely nullified the raw flavors. Ooh. Guys, I'm challenging even all the Dubai guys. Come on, bring me such a restaurant. Show me such a restaurant. I don't know, Kerala, I haven't explored yet. So, I, I can't. But in Dubai, yes, I've explored. I am exploring many places, but you know, this place always comes to my mind. Rojali chicken tikka. Rojali. Cheese salami put it with cheese on top. And I think it's, it has a... Galuti. Oh, Galuti. Galuti. Galuti again, it's again, it's very, very hard to, you know, convince me Galuti. <laughs> this will be good. Let's see. Let's see, that's what, let's I've see. I've had some good there, Galuti. That's very well. nice. They have a nice, small roti. Below and then here the galoti. Galoti, it's actually a Lucknowi. Fine. Galoti kebabs. Some 
somewhere there, somewhere there, I have actually had the real gato, galoti, Lucknowi galoti itself. Good, actually flavor is good. The flavor of reshmi kebab with cheese on top of it. I didn't complete my talk that time. When I was coming all the way from Dubai, I was thinking dosa, idli, vada, sambar and ambur biryani, all these things. But when I got here, everything has changed. The seafood culture, the mutton specials these guys have in gravies, paya gravies and all, which I only have from Pakistani response. <laughs> all this is there in Chennai. Where is Pakistan? The, the distance from Chennai to Pakistan itself is like 3,000, 3,500 kilometers. That's why I told you when I had the ma ma handi over there, it ah. feels like home for me. Ah, yeah, he told me. When he had the Pakistani handi from a famous place there, which serves the best handi, the Peshawari style, he told me, I somewhat feel like I'm in Chennai. Oh, oh it is off. It must be. Oh. <laughs> Drums. <laughs> the way he is eating, it's musical. Nandu is too good, so I shared on Nandu. I bought one more Nandu and I'm eating that Nandu. Elanir Paisam. So, oops. <laughs> oh, they do it good. My God, I don't need a spoon. <laughs> wow. Thank you guys. Signing off. Let's go to sleep and we'll head to next place. Yeah, next Melur. Place. Melur. But tomorrow, now we are. Most probably morning for breakfast, we'll come here again. Ah, <laughs> so you guys wait, watch the next video for the breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Signing off Team Zubrology and Irfan. Bye. Bye. It's really, really uh, tempting us to come back here for one reason. I can feel the taste here. <laughs> <laughs>